Hey everyone, Jake here with Onyx Off-Road, and for those of you who do not know, we are the official GPS mapping partner for the King of the Hammers 2023. So with KOH being right around the corner, we wanted to give a quick how-to guide to navigate the lake bed. This is not going to be a super in-depth uh, version on how to use the app. If you want the more in-depth version, you can register for our live 101 masterclasses or go to YouTube and simply look up uh, previous classes. So we are going to dive right in. So I'm going to pull up the map real quick. All right, cool. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be in the web version. Um, for those of you who already have an account, simply log in with your credentials on the desktop version, then you'll get a little larger screen, a few more extra features. Um, and it's just a little easier to plan when you're in this, this full screen mode. So um, I have Johnson Valley right now teed up uh, in the map. Um, before we even zoom in or do anything, I would encourage you, you all to follow along. Um, so first thing that I want everyone to do is go over to this left hand side, you're going to hit offline maps, uh, you're going to hit new offline map, and you're going to get prompted here to have a low medium or high resolution offline map area. You can click on the screen, kind of drag this thing around wherever you want. Uh, medium resolution should be fine for, for this purpose. Um, and right about there is, is a good spot to tee it up. You come in here, label it. Let's do offline map, KOH, hit save. And the really important part to keep in mind right here is now go on your mobile device and go into your offline maps section and you're going to get prompted with the map that you just queued up on the desktop version and go ahead and download that on your on your mobile app so make sure you guys do that before you lose service before you come out to the desert and your maps are going to function flawless cool so right out of the gate zooming in coming off of 247 is going to be boone road you're going to see it highlighted with this yellow undertone you zoom up a little farther, you're going to see the welcome gate right here. This is where everyone's going to trickle through wristbands and all that good stuff. Keep scrolling up towards Hammertown and you're going to see Hammertown uh, is lit up right now. Uh, really cool. Keep this in mind. We have all the gates, the restrooms, big screen. Uh, really important to keep the, the, the gates in mind because we all know how parking gets out here. It kind of gets crazy. So really knowing where these access points are are very important. This waypoint right here is where OnX is going to be at uh, the Wi-Fi tent. So if you guys have any problems with your app throughout the time or questions that you want gen in general answered, um, we're, we're more than happy to help. So swing by and come see us at the Wi-Fi tent. Zoom in a little farther, you're going to see some uh, some stuff come to life. You're going to see, you know, the names of the streets. This is really another thing to keep in mind, because if you guys have meetup points with your group, you know, you can come in here and, hey, I'm on the corner forward parts Avenue um, or alley, like that kind of stuff. Keep in mind, you can use it that way. Let's zoom back out. Um, and a lot of people are going to be camping here. And another tool that I want to introduce that's probably going to be the most important one for you all is this waypoint you drop here in the right hand side of the screen. Click on this. You can drop this waypoint. Um, typically, camping fills in pretty heavy around this area. It gets, I mean, it gets heavy everywhere, but in particular, this area gets really hit hard. Um, let's just pretend for the purpose of this demo that we end up here. Now, of course, when you guys land at your campsite, stake out your spot, be sure to mark this waypoint. You can come in here, name it. Let's just name it. Oops, capitalize. Campsite one. Going to come down here, change the icon. You can keep the color black. You can change the color, whatever you want. We'll just keep it black for this. You can come down here and write notes um, to your friends or whatever you want. Save this. Now, the most important thing here is now you can hit this share button and you can copy this link and you can share it in a variety of ways. You can put it in an email, you can text if you're on your on your mobile device. Um, and this is just really handy, if, especially if you have a group coming in later in the week and, and you get there and you stage your camp or stake out your spot. Um, send the waypoint to your friends and they're going to be able to find you. And especially if you're going back and forth, you know, say you're going back and forth in between Hammertown every night. You might have your your one route figured out, but then the next day, I mean, everything's changing. The more and more people come in, more trailers will pop up, more RVs will block access, and then your your route back to your camp is constantly changing. So just make sure you have your main waypoint camp marked and in your set. 
Um, that waypoint also applies to to people coming in that are that are staying offsite. They're not on the lake bed. They're at an Airbnb or at a hotel downtown. Typically, parking kind of gets heavy in here and here. Um, same thing. Drop a waypoint at, at your rig. Uh, it gets pretty crazy, especially at night. Um, dust starts kicking up. Rigs start driving around. A lot of foot traffic. Uh, and it's really, really awesome to just have your, your rig marked and so you know you can get back to it uh, no matter what. Uh, next feature I want to talk about, you can come in here, dive into 3D mode. This is really cool. It gives you a great, um, a great aspect on what these, these outer banks, hills look like. You can, some people kind of tuck back here and camp all throughout here. So this is really cool. It gives a great perspective. You can come in here. You can scroll around. Um, and for those of you who are new to this event, or maybe it's your first time coming to King of the Hammers, you're going to hear, you know, things like, oh, Chocolate Thunder. It's like, oh, okay, well, where's that? Just keep in mind, the app has all the trails and we can even fly over there right now and check it out. Um, keep in mind, the app is all interactive. You can go ahead, you can click on a trail, pull up Chocolate Thunder, gives you a description, um, gives you some photos of kind of what you're, what you're looking into. So really cool feature. Keep that in mind. Uh, 3D is very powerful. Um, we're going to go back into 2D really quick. I want to show you guys one last feature. Um, so as I just mentioned, it's all interactive, right? So you're going to be noticing that there's there's going to be some private property out here that it all looks the same once you're out there. There might not be a fence. There might not be signs. So it's your responsibility to know like, hey, you know, I'm not going to be camping on, on this person's property. So just make sure you're, you're squared away there camping legally. You can click on things if you're not sure, like clicked on this, this is all BLM, click on this, this is all part of the OHV area. Uh, so really powerful tool, keep that in mind. Um, and then the last thing I want to cover is the race course will not be live in this version yet. We will launch that on the second. So keep that in mind. You need to do an offline map refresh and then you'll see the course loaded in. Again, if you're on the grounds and you don't see it, stop by the Wi-Fi tent. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Uh, and use code King of Hammers for a 20% off right now to, to the app. Um, and we we hope to see you there and, and hope you have a great, great time at King of the Hammers. Thanks.